So I will be utilizing the same geometry what I've created in the previous video. Now that my extrusion is ready with me and I have created the extrusion on both the sides. But when I'm looking at the model tree, the total geometry is listed as extrude 1. So please do not get confused if we are creating an extrusion on the side 2 that comes under extrude 1 only because this is the first geometry what we are creating using a common sketch that was a two dimensional sketch what we have created. Now let us see the way to edit this particular extrusion because you know if I uh, in the earlier video I have mentioned you that the total length was 500 by double clicking on the geometry you can see the dimensions what I have considered. So I have the length of 500 on one side and I have the length of 250 on one side. So the material is on both the sides but having different dimensions and you can see the sketch what I have created over here and that is having a diameter of 250. Now if I want to change the depth of the particular circle or the cylinder I need to edit the geometry again or edit the extrusion. So in order to do that I can click on extrude and after clicking on extrude I am getting a set of options over here which I will be discussing as we are progressing in the course. So right now we have this option called as edit definition. So we can click on this option. So when we are clicking on the edit definition we are landed or we are returned to the extrude command again where we can see the dimensions and the details of the geometry what we have created. Okay. Now if my intention is to modify the depths I can directly do it in options by changing the depths as desired. Alright, what if I want to change the diameter of the circle what I have created. In this particular window there is no option for me to edit the diameter of the circle. So in this case I have to do something else. I have to go to the placement option and when I am clicking on placement option you can see sketch and under sketch you can see internal sketch 1. So this means that this particular sketch what I have created if you can see over here this is termed or labeled as internal sketch 1. I want to change the diameter of that particular sketch. So in order to do that I will be clicking on edit option. The moment I have clicked on edit I have returned to the two dimensional sketching. Now I can just go to the normal view or the sketch view and I can fit this fit the layout to the screen and I can change the diameter as desired. I have increased the diameter right now. I am pressing refit and I am pressing ok right now. So after pressing ok you can use the middle click and turn the geometry and see whether you are satisfied with the product or with the geometry what you are having right now. And again if you want to modify the diameter you can do with the same way. Right now I am going with the smaller diameter. I am pressing ok and I am checking my geometry. So it's it's looking satisfied right now I am sad if, if I am supposing that this is what I wanted so I am ok with it I have to simply press ok right now. So in this video you have understood the procedure for editing your geometry. So if you can see over here you can see the extrude command what we have used and this is the first option what we have worked so far. I mean this is the first step what we have worked so far. Now let me try to create another extrude but not on the plane, not on the datum plane. Let me try to use the surface of the cylinder. So generally you have to understand that you know you can create the extrusions on the flat surfaces or datum planes. So whenever we are creating a two dimensional sketch you just imagine that we are creating on a paper and it is difficult for us to create a sketch on surfaces which are not plain or which are not flat. Same goes with the paper drawing. Imagine if I am asking you to draw a sketch on the curved surface it will be very difficult for you to draw it on the curved surface in comparison with the flat paper. So same goes for extrusion as well. So right now in my geometry I am having two flat faces. And uh, let me try to show you before that another function of mouse 
if I'm clicking on the control button on the keyboard and with the middle mouse if I am just moving middle click if I'm just moving the mouse in the down direction and in the up direction so this is a kind of zooming and zoom out with, with using a control option otherwise the simplest form of zooming in is scrolling your middle click just scroll the scroll bar and you can zoom it anywhere right so the discussion over here is we have to create an extrusion on the flat surfaces so if you are observing this particular geometry you can see that we are having two flat surfaces this is the first flat surface and this is another flat surface so extrusion can also happen on the surfaces let us try to see what is the way let me first align it to the default view okay now I can click on the surf surface you can see when I'm hovering on the surface it is getting highlighted isn't it you can see it is highlighted and getting a name of the surface surface 5 okay so I'm clicking on it and I'm clicking on extrude now you can see that the plane of sketch is with respect to the surface of the cylinder so whatever whatever I'm trying to sketch right now will be on this particular surface not on any of the datum planes in this particular case the surface of the cylinder is my datum right now so that is the reference on which I'm going to create the extrude so let me try to align it with respect to the sketch view so I am having the previous cylinder which is visible and it is aligned let me create a circle again from the center let me keep give it a little lesser diameter so that you can see the difference I'm sorry 70 now now that I have sketched the two-dimensional sketch I have to press ok and you can see I'm getting an extrusion from the surface of the first extruded geometry so this is another feature in extrude command what you can work with similarly you can try to increase the depth but if you are trying to go on the other side of the surface automatically I'm getting this option selected I'll tell you about it in the next video so you can see when I'm going to the other going to the other side of the surface the extrusion is happening inside that means material is getting combined with the material okay and if I'm just increasing the depth again I can come out from this direction clear so I'm overlapping the material what is existing in this particular thing in the cylinder so this is not recommended if I'm wanting a extrusion from this direction it is better option for me to use this surface for creating the extrude so let me go back to this direction so this is the total depth what I've gone from the left side to the right side. So this is a quite huge material. Okay, let me just try to keep it as 100 for now. So I'll show you the procedure again on the other side. I'm just turning my geometry. Clicking on the surface pressing extrude now aligning the geometry now let me draw a rectangle some random dimensions okay and you can see over here that my sketch is ready let me change the display style you can see that I have created a two dimensional sketch of 50 by 50 mm I have pressed ok now I'm getting an extrusion over here let me change the display style and whatever depth I want I can go and I can stop it by clicking middle click or ok so I got the geometry ready I have aligned it with the default view and you can see that I have created extrusions on the first extrusion what I've created
so you can see this is the first extrusion the main cylinder then on the left hand side i have created an, another smaller cylinder on the surface of the first cylinder then on the another surface i have created a square block now you can find many more flat surfaces over here can you make a guess this is the first surface where i can try to create this is another surface this is another surface this is another surface here and here so you can just try to practice by creating multiple extrusions on different different surfaces and see the variations what you're trying to get so let me just try to create on this particular surface align it let me just zoom in and use the center axis as a reference and just create a bigger circle let me see what's happening right now okay now i have created a sketch on this face and let me extrude it you can see the material is getting added and also you can see that the material is visible from this side because i have created the diameter to be larger than the surface what i'm having so this is also possible it is not required for us to maintain the dimensions of the base we can create any dimension extrusion but the point is we only have to create the extrusion on the flat surfaces and in order to go to the next step we can either press ok or we can click middle click so i'm clicking the middle click because it is shortcut and i'm pressing ctrl d for aligning to the default view so you can see that this is another extrusion what i've created now you can see that there are four steps what we have done in four steps we have used extrude options if i want to go back to the first step i can just click on this option and i can drag it to the first step so this is another way to go back to the first step and if we are having any modifications you can just click on it change the diameter if you are wanting to change the diameter say 100 so this is a parametric modeling what i've explained you and the other features with respect to this will be updated automatically clear so this is another way of dealing with extrusion let's go to the next video